but in November the 5th, boys, we're going hunting up fire. It's pretty steep going up through here with this thing. You'll notice, I start pointing out them holes in this cabin the same level. Watch what happens to it. No matter what she does. It's about 107 in the afternoon, wind's blowing. Down there is where I come from. And easy place to hunt, but uh, I've not been up here this year. There's some good deer in here too. I ain't hunting no deer in here. Alright, I ain't been up here too long. I done seen two squirrels, but now I'm at the edge of an open field and they seen me. I've got him behind this tree here. See if you can see that in this camera here. That's a cherry bark hickory. Let's see where that is. Yeah, there it is. Working that tree right there. I done seen one squirrel. He come back down here and got him a nut. One up that log yonder. Now you don't put him up around that log up in there. You're getting into 65 yard range maybe. 64. Come back down that log. Zoom this camera in here. He's on that old log up there. About the center of the camera there. Right in there is where he was sitting on that log. Laser flashing 5030. I aimed at the head on that squirrel boat. And you ain't gonna believe me. That squirrel, he's come all the way down past his shag park tree. He ended over in. That's steep up there. That's good though. I ain't gotta go too far to you. That squirrel's are laying right in there. He come down the hill a good 20, 20, 25 yards. After I shot him, he ended over in a flopping. I've got another one up here coming around these rocks right here, right there. You might see him in this camera. Now, here's a tip for you new squirrel hunter. Now, it's early, okay? Now, this ain't always a guarantee. But if you see two or three squirrels around a hickory midday, as it gets later, there'll probably be more. So that's your little signal, okay? So that's why I ain't moved from right here. It's, it's still pretty early and it's bright. As the sun angle gets lower, you know, them squirrels will get braver and more of them will come out. All right, you see that little rock right up there, rock face there, sort of? Yeah, I just seen that squirrel come in there. He's up there barking. The lasers are flashing 74 yards on that, okay? And I'm shooting up somewhat when I shoot there, so it's not like it's a level shot. Meaning the gun's not going to drop as much. You reckon the squirrels will go hungry up here, folks? I want you to look at the wild. I've done come under three more trees and ground over just like this. I'm on the move. I got a squirrel over here to my left from where I was standing and barking. I'm gonna come back here where I was at though. There'll be some more squirrels there. A little later. big long shoot stick and stuck it up. Let me get this camera back out of here. So I'm sitting here and I got this big long shoot stick. I just stuck it up like that right there, boys, and zeroed in on him. He come out of that tree too. Right there is where I was standing a while ago. That tree right there. So I went over there and I heard one of eating down the hill. I never could see him though. It sounded like he was eating on a wall. Okay, there's that first squirrel. I've got to go back down here and go under the hill. We'll get the second one. I'm going to go on around the hill. I can hunt this anytime I feel like anyway. Now that squirrel was shot all the way up there. Center the camera on that log right there. 
He's come this far and he can come all the way down to me almost if he wouldn't have got caught on that rock right there. Oh, by the way, see this old long shoot stick here? Look at that. I don't have to go all the way up over that old steep place there. I can just rake him down the hill. Save me from going three more steps. Okay, there's the second square. It looks like a pretty good shot. And he is. There's that old stubby thing I told you. I shot him in behind out of this walnut tree back here, right here. Yeah, right there it is. This, this ain't level right here either, boys, but it's it's not quite as bad as where I just had to go get that one. Let's see if I can't kill another couple here. It's 319. Come back sub sudden. I heard one run up that hill up my boys. Center of the camera. He's sitting up in there, boy. You see that old hair just is shining. He's proud of that nut he had in his mouth, too. Okay, laser says that was 45 yards. Now, you see that limb there? You see that limb? I the wind was blowing it, and I'd wait for a little gust of wind to move with these out of my way so I'd get a open shot at him. I hung the bullet in him, he acts like he's headshot. Alright, there's the third one, that's a mama squirrel. She's not ultra old, but uh, she's got a few years on her looks like. Busted that old head on her. Okay, I'm back where I started, where I killed his first squirrel. Okay, because it's getting later, and I know they squirrels here. There's a rock come off a hill right there rolling, boys. And you talking about shaking them squirrels up. He's about six in here barking. One or two down in there. Three, four, five right up in there. I've seen one of them. Might get a long shot right here. I like to take a good long shot, about 80 yards. Now this is a north hillside. It's cold where I'm standing. These leaves up here is a little thinner on this north face of this hill. If you listen, you can probably hear them a bark. Yeah, he's, he's quite a few up there barking. Uh, I see a square right up in there. See him right there. I'm going to let this camera run. I'm going to shoot that dude on this shooting stick. Uh, I'm behind this old rock here. I've got, I know I've seen two, and I believe they're young squirrels down in here. I tried to. Leave the camera running on one and shoot it, it moved on me. Now he's right here, I got a little barricade here. He's headed this way actually, it looks like a little bit. I've uh, seen them two young squirrels, I've seen one way over there. On that log. That's a hall over that boy. That squirrel's gonna sit still over there. I'm gonna try to get him, but he went off the other side and buried a nut. Now here's a den tree, though. I'm pretty sure that's the den tree that young squirrels I see. That one right there. See it right there? Boy, it's a good. Now there's a lot of holes right in here around here. The old locusts. There's quite a few locusts right here. That's what that is right there, even. Now, boy, you can do damage with this rifle right here on squirrels. Okay, you can see over a long ways. They got all kinds of stuff up here. They can do acrobatic acts on an old broke down beach, another beach top. You can shoot all the way back around through there. Sort of a sugar bowl set up here. We'll get these leaves off, get some of these weeds down where you can see them better. Before I forget, where I just come from over there, I've got a tree stand to hunt deer. And I have squirrel hunted out of a tree stand. Okay. I might hunt a little out of that one, but let me warn you about something if you're a beginner squirrel hunter and you try that. You, uh, you'll have trouble finding your squirrels if you ain't careful. You better pick your landmarks real good when you kill one. 
because when you get down on the ground after being up in that tree, everything looks different. Been there and done that. Even shooting squirrels 45 and 50 yards away, they can be problematic finding, especially in these leaves when they get fluffy on the ground, when they all fall. All right, squirrel round up is three gray squirrels, all females. This one right here on the right is a young squirrel. Okay. And these other two over here, this one looks a little older than this one right here, maybe. All headshot. Seen a few more squirrels, but I don't believe they stirred as good late this evening. But now that's a north facing hill of our boys. It's cold right up in there. The sun won't hit in there until about March the 1st. I hope you enjoyed.